happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In Out of the Box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Dottabert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the Kato. This is the V5 Voyager Mini. This is an AM FM NOAA weather band emergency radio. You can find these on Amazon retailing around 20 bucks. This had a $5 off coupon, bringing my price down to a low 15 bucks. And it's yellow. Rocking. <laughs> Love my yellow radios. Uh, so yeah, torch, siren, dynamo, solar, phone charger. Pretty basic little radio. Uh, let's get to it. Here's the box a little bit, if you care to see it. Some more bullet points on the side there. There you go. Be prepared for emergency. Okay, it comes in black as well. I have links below to this radio if you care to get one and support the channel. Took everything out of the box. Let's see what we get. First things first, the radio, little V5. It's definitely mini, um, really small, compact size. I like that. We have the charging cable, which is a USB to type C. We're going to start seeing that more and more on new radios. I figured that, especially ones that are rechargeable. And then we have the carry lanyard. Always like to see that. Nice. And then we have a brochure pamphlet style. Uh, user manual. So yeah, let's flip this up real quick. I think it's going to be a little bit of a pain, but I think it's just basic operation, freeze frame, freeze frame. You got to turn it on. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory when you pick up the radio, but just in case, there's some features. In case I miss anything, power your radio. Yeah, and then there's a the back side of this thing. <laughs> So let's flip it over. There's specifications in that. So let's just put it like this here. You got the hand crank, which is pretty cool. If you look here, it says five minutes of winding gives you 15 to 20 minutes of radio play. It says two hours of reading lamp, but I think that's a misprint because there is no reading lamp on this radio. And you get one and almost a half hours of flashlight time. Pretty cool. Charge external devices only in an emergency because the battery isn't very strong in this radio. Since it's so small, they have a smaller battery in there. And as you can see, some of the pertinent specifications. And if you look, it comes with a 1200 milliamp hour battery, which we know is pretty lightweight. Okay. And it's internal, by the way. Unfortunately, there's no way to change it unless you're skillful and you want to open up your radio. So there is your QR code, probably to Kato's website. All right, so we're done with that. Let's get to the radio. All right, cool. So we're going to go over dimensions. I'm going to bring this down. Okay. So we are five and a quarter inches in length. We have two and a half inches in width. And we have two inches in depth. This weighs about 235 grams. So not too bad if you're backpacking with it. Let's uh, do a size comparison. Now, I brought out a competitor out because there is competition to this radio. Um, the Retech is TR627, which is normally retails for the same price, 20 bucks. This one was on sale for $14.99 and recently had a 20% off coupon, bringing the price down to $11.99. And it runs on a similar battery. I like the dial of this one better. Notice how short this one is. This is a nice expanded dial. Speakers sound the same. Flashlight. Actually, the flashlight in this one, I like the beam better on the Retechas. Just quick little things while I'm showing you for size comparison. They both have SOS features. Um, but for durability, this feels more durable. Feels like a stronger plastic set and a bit better construction, I think. It'll hold up longer. Just my opinion. Uh, but the Retechas is one to consider, especially when it's $11.99. So I'll have links to the Retechas as well down below there. So not a bad little radio. Um, the Dynamo is a little weak. The Dynamo is better on the Kato. Of course, there's no solar panel, but to be honest with you, a radio this small, uh, solar panels aren't as effective. One cool thing about the 627 before I put it away is it has a dry battery bay and it has a lithium battery. So if your lithium battery dies, you have the ability to keep running that radio. 
This radio does not have a dry battery bay whatsoever. So you're kind of stuck with it if it died on you. You'd have to get in there and replace that battery somehow. Or get a new radio. 15 bucks, they're pretty much throwaway radios at that point. But to be depending on a radio, yeah, make sure you're charging it and checking it often. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, more size comparison. I have CC Pocket in the house. Should bring that back up. Yeah. There we go. Filming a little late, 12, 11 a.m. That's Central uh, Standard Time, and I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. For any band scans we do, because we'll do a little bit of uh, tuning on the bands. Why not? Skywave, CC Skywave. Again, same time. And then we have a deck of cards. Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. He loves Kato's from China Land. Rock on, Voyager Man. <laughs> you get the idea. All right, deck of cards. So yeah, deck of cards is actually bigger, height wiser. Okay. Um, so features of the V5. Yeah, I really like this. Um, very compact. Uh, that's the cool thing about it, and it feels well made. Uh, it's definitely sturdy. Um, feels like it's made of thick plastics, which is good, and it's all hard plastic. It's not the soft touch kind, which is good. Uh, the flashlight is a three LED dealio, and they just quite don't line up. And I always say that you use this flashlight to find a better flashlight in the dark. <laughs> that's that's exactly what you use it for. The flashlight in the Rutecus, I like it because it's a single LED. It just looks nicer than this weird washed out three LED thing going on. So I'll show it to you on the Rutecus. Okay. So we have that feature there. Cool. There's also an SOS on that same button that actuates the light. It's where we're coded, by the way. You press and hold that button. It should flash. And siren. Well, alarm. So it's pretty loud. A band select switch, AM, FM, weather band. Tuning in the center. Uh, actually kind of interesting. Um, you could tune with one hand. I find myself needing to tune like this. But at least you can still see the, the tuning window. It isn't blocked completely. Um, so that's interesting. Uh, a lot of people like the tuning on the front of the radio. It's a big topic. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and lower this down. Okay, so for the scale here, weather band on top. It's got an analog dial, DSP radio, uh, digital signal processor. Um, so we have an analog dial for FM, 87 to 108, and AM, 530 to 1710. A tuning LED uh, lights up green. It's kind of a weird tuning LED. It's not either on or off. It fades in and out like an analog radio. Over here, we have a uh, charge status. So right now we're getting solar. So it turns red when you're charging, when you're spinning the dynamo. Um, it flashes when you have it hooked up to type C. And when it's done flashing, it's solid red, it's done charging. Um, if it turns blue, you're in power bank mode. Kato E5. Okay, cool. Right hand side, uh, I was sorry to see there was no headphone jack. That's a bonus to the Rutecus. The Rutecus 627 I've showed you. It has a headphone jack. This does not. It has your USB power output, 5 volts, 1 amp. And then there's your input type C. It's 5 volts. I think it takes 1 amp in, but I've only seen half amp charge rate. Probably because the battery in here is not that big. Up here we have a small recessed, which is nice, volume on off control. Our solar panel, our FM and NOAA weather antenna, which is 12 inches. I forgot to mention the speaker is one and a half inches. It sounds okay. It's very similar again to the Rutecus in sound quality. So again, comparing those two radios because you might want something different. Now this Dynamo is nice. It's got a big wide handle and it's very easy to use. Now the Rutecus is well made on the inside, but its Dynamo uh, handle is very weak. You can flex it very easily. I remember winding the Rutecus Dynamo and actually bumping into the radio because it flexed too much. So something to think about with that little radio. This is a better dynamo crank. And you got six screws to get into it if you want to try to change the battery if it ever failed. And I'm sure there's people out there that could. Nice flat bottom. This thing stands beautifully. It will not fall over easy. Nope. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. Um, we're going to do a little FM reception report, and I'm going to turn it on, and we'll do a little demo on sound, and then we'll cruise the bands. So FM reception, I always like to do this, because I can't spend a lot of time on the music. Uh, I take it upstairs, and I go through the entire band, lock every station I find. Uh, this uh, radio did okay to good. 
And the scale is fair. Okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, okay to good is an average radio, like an analog radio like this, from old school, from the 80s. Um, so it's not great. Um, I expected better. But with a 12-inch antenna, I can see why it didn't score very high. Um, selectivity was okay to good as well, because I wasn't getting any sense, I wasn't getting any distant stations with that dinky antenna. <laughs> 12 inches only gets you so far. <laughs> yeah, you get it. So anyway, um, with that out of the way, uh, let's go do a demo on the audio. So I'm going to turn on my C-Crane FM transmitter a button here. We're going to broadcast on 97.7 on megahertz. I have a Sony MP3 player here with royalty-free music. I'll start playing that, as you can see. And now we're transmitting over that frequency. And I'm going to pick it up with this radio so you can hear the audio. And then what I'll do is I'll bring the little Sony player in so you can see what's playing. Okay, so we're going to turn this on FM, which is all the way to the left. And we'll turn this on. And we'll tune it in. There we go. Turning the lights on. Here's our music. Radio Tottenberg. you'll notice that tuning LED um, it's solid green and then when you like pause it now interesting thing is there's no volume this tuning is only working on the volume of the signal and how strong the signal is so if I turn this up you'll hear that the transmitter is still active it's just that I've turned off the uh, iPad or iPad the mp3 player <laughs> I paused it so very interesting how the tuning LED works. I don't know. The first time I've seen that. Um, so 
Let's go ahead and uh, go to the weather band. Turn this down. There we go. We'll go to the bottom here. Now, during the day, I was able to find five stations upstairs with the little tiny antenna. Lows around nine. Wednesday, mostly cloudy. Slight chance of snow showers in the morning. Then chance of snow showers, possibly mixed with freezing rain in the afternoon. Highs in the mid-twenties. Chance of precipitation, 40%. Again, the forecast for southeast Wisconsin, including Milwaukee snow accumulation possible. There's two. Nearly steady temperatures in the mid to upper today, west of tonight. There's three. To 40 knots becoming south and east to 35 knots. The temperature in the lower 30s. There's four. Southwest wow. 10 to 15 miles per cool. hour. Cool. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour in the morning. Chance of snow showers. Five. Waves four to six feet occasionally. 20 miles per hour late in the evening, becoming southwest after midnight. And six. Now we do have a weather system in here, so that could be affecting it and improving the signal. But uh, yeah, we have some rain coming through. So there's your weather band. As you can tell, I got a strong one nearby. East gales 40 knots becoming southeast storm force winds to 50 knots. Rain and slight chance of snow through early evening, then rain overnight. Waves 8 to 11 feet occasionally to 14 feet building to 12 to 16 feet occasionally to 21 feet. Okay, so let's go to the uh, FM band, and uh, we'll go to the bottom of that band, and we'll see what we can pick up. Like I said, I picked up 50 stations. It actually sounds really good on FM. I like the music, so um, all the way over for FM. Turn it up, and we'll tune it. Now, I know a couple people in the area who listen to 87.75, uh, low power station out of Chicago. This tunes in perfectly. Uh, so I don't know if this is tuning in uh, 50 kilohertz steps, but uh, tunes perfect. So you know it's uh, got to be tuning a fine fine tuning on FM. Let me always Kidding. A little faster. I use two thumbs. To celebrate a Sabbath day or a new moon festival. And you know, I'm quoting from Paul, and she's just standing there like, what? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I really had. I had I had chosen. Um, and so working with, and it has to be said, this was the case. He was found guilty in California in a federal. Wait. I cannot. Yes, I was wondering about that about uh, the others that they say he was working with, and it has to be said, this was the case. He was found guilty. And and try to change. That was my training there. Your intention ends when the good times. So yeah, you can get more stations than I'm doing. I'm using two fingers here. When I was upstairs, I was doing the thumbs. If I do this, you can't see the radio. So I'm trying to use two fingers so you can see the radio more. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, the AM band. Now during the day, uh, expect um, 
great for locals, okay and semi-locals. Uh, selectivity is a challenge. Uh, during the night, I noticed it was a challenge. Now, it uses an internal antenna for the AM band, so I'm just going to go ahead and retract the FM antenna. Put that back in its position there. Still is away nicely. Okay, so we're going to go to the bottom of the AM band. Here we can pick up. Just try to ID a couple, and then we'll do final thoughts on the Voyager uh, Mini V5. Little finger there. <laughs> He's done more for speech on the internet than any elected That was 560, pretty loud. You're looking at DeMar DeRozan. He puts up 18 a game. This is his fourth season. 670, the score? The VCR, like Chicago? A decline, like, what do you think? Damn, honestly, I thought it was this year. Okay. But clearly, that's not the case. Right. You know, he's, he's got a solution that hopefully will work out in the first few years. All right. Well, you know, it's, it's a huge financial impact, and it's been a hell of a battle. I think this is 640. I'm just going to check real quick. See where we're at. Two and a few stations in. Always fun. And increased community engagement. See if we can get Nashville. We kind of go back and forth. Complimentary player on this Bulls team. He's a dad at a Loudoun County, uh, Virginia high school. But there, but we actually assaulted in the girls' room by a boy. Come to Mar. That might be Nashville. Yeah, well, we'll keep going. What you're saying, he doesn't have that killer closer mentality. But let's also remember that Zach, you know, again, won a lot of games for the Chicago Bulls. Okay, so it's latching on stronger stations, which I had this problem before, and I had to go back and forth quite a bit to try to get the stations in between. If those stations in between are strong, they're going to come through. Uh, this is 720 WGN Chicago, right from 670 to 720. Last night I did get 700 on this radio. That music there I can't hover on, but the 740... Keep turning it off. Uh, Number four on the R&B charts, 21 on the pop charts. It was her first chart record. She had recorded quite a bit before. The first first she recorded as Linda Lane for MGM in 1963. And nothing happened. She wanted to turn 78 years old today. Must have changed when I bumped it. moment no opinion that's all you're gonna give us uh, at her mom's house of red <laughs> hey there's some good sale right before christmas <laughs> yeah. so, they keep getting uh, strong stations that's, uh, that's the deal for uh for linda jones but uh yeah hypnot the irs the world's most aggressive collection agency. They can seize your property, bank account, and garnish your wages. They cause sleepless nights for millions of Americans. Don't be one of them. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, get protected today. Call 800 So as you can see, I'm going back and forth here. Hope you have the patience. This is 760 WGR Detroit, Michigan. I was getting 720. I was getting 780. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> Let's just keep going up the dial. Zoomer Radio is in there. Um, I picked it up too as well with this radio. The IRS placed a levy on his bank account. Coast One released the levy and settled with the IRS for two thousand. What I mean? Yeah, we could do that. We could play that game of. Gun looks a lot better shape than you do. You're coming with me. Oh, where? Mr. Wolf would like to see you. Hero Wolf? Yeah. Well, why? He's trying to salvage a quarter. Old time radio on uh, 780 WBBM Chicago. Every weekday. Uh, uh huh. Complete with 
Uh, he wouldn't give his name. He did have a gun to it, though. This one. Yes. Uh, gee, you know Miss Barton, of course? Hi. And Mr. Stevens? Over the list price. Know all your options. John can not only get you that cash offer, but also show you how to get the best offer. Don't list your home until you know all your options. Mm -hmm. Contact John now for full details. 952-222-9000. Online at johnschustergroup.com. How you finish often depends on how you start or who you start with. Hey, it's Benita for my friend John. Thinking that this antenna might be on a slight angle, <laughs> causing the little nuances and tuning. Um, 830 WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, to the west, 310 miles. And has been listed with another agent for 92 long days and nothing. Temperatures will bottom out in the low and middle 40s in the city. The outlook for your Thursday, some morning clouds giving way to partly sunny skies midday through the afternoon, a cooler high of 48, and it'll turn colder yet on Friday, mainly dry WHAS, skies. Louisville, Kentucky, about 300 miles. Some WLKY Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. The Federal Reserve is raising the benchmark interest rate again, and this time by a half percentage point instead of three quarters, as they did the last four meetings. I don't know if I went back at 9.30. It happens. Charlie did not die from an overdose. Yeah, we went back to 8.30. No other family should go through this. Keep going. Terrific. Go to safe.pharmacy. Use the free tool. Learn if the online pharmacy... Turn on the food truck. Governor Holko says she has work to do to address public safety. I will take part of what you're talking about here today. The parts that say state laws need to change. Commercial districts, housing, child care, all on the agenda. I'm Julia Papa, WCBS News Radio 880. Over in the Meadowland, a young man from Long Island died after falling off a snowboard in the indoor ski slope there at the American Dream Mall Complex. So here's 880 WCBS, uh, New York, New York, 750 miles to the northeast. So we can pick them up. What is it to the end of the band? We'll do final thoughts. The tuning light, so weird. Three points on the road this season, and that's been with Steph Curry. Pacers led by as much as 25 en route to the win over Golden State on Wednesday. Helping your rig go farther between oil changes. So you'll make less pit stops. Well, unless you need to restock on snacks, we really can't help you with that. But if you're looking to help your big rig engine live longer, look no further. Superior protection, less maintenance. That's what you can expect from the number one heavy-duty engine oil. So this is a 1020 KDKA, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. Shell Rotella products at rotella.com slash longhaul. Red Eye Radio and our sponsors. Ocean Harbor Restaurant Wednesday night. The community came packed in carrying signs and wearing shirts stating they were... Coast to coast, that's what that is. Uh, they always play intro music and outro. Yeah, coast to coast is on almost every station in the evening. If you like listening to, you know, Bigfoot and conspiracy theories, but uh, they do have some cool science stuff on here once in a while. I do enjoy listening to Coast to Coast sometimes. I always go online to see what they're featuring, so I don't waste my time. This might be 15:30, so the scale is a bit off. You have to get used to it. But it's an emergency radio. The fact that it can pick up these stations is pretty incredible. And it's fairly strong all the way to the top of the band. I did get 1700 yesterday as well. Sixteen ten, CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Headache, shot in your family collect from my mom. 
probably 1650. Uh, a little bit of music here. That's 1700, I think, and then we can call it. Let's go 1700. Yep. Hispanic music from Richardson, Texas. Um, I think it's almost 800 miles away, so yeah, pretty awesome. And the speaker coming in there is uh, Des Moines, Iowa, KBGG. All right, so uh, we'll go ahead and just turn this off. Yeah, so there it is, the Voyager V5 uh, Mini. Uh, is it worth 15 bucks? Yeah, I guess it would be worth $15. Uh, it's not too bad. Um, as long as you keep up with your maintenance, uh, charging the battery every three months, if you get in the habit, or people who do it every six months, that's fine. Um, that way, you know, you're ready for the different seasons. Usually start of, uh, or yeah, for us here in the Midwest, uh, it's usually springtime. We're charging up our weather radios and all the way through summer and in fall. And then wintertime, we're pretty much not using these. Uh, but to give you an idea, I mean, we can when there's storm warnings and that. But uh, typically, you know, for winter, we, we know when snow's coming. <laughs> we can handle it. Uh, but when it's tornado season, yeah, we definitely have these handy. So, yeah, it's either this one or the Retechus. I'll be honest with you, they're both great radios. Um, if the Retechus is $1,199, you pick one of that. You pick this one up instead, unless you like the style of the V5 better. Um, I like the tuning and volume controls of the uh, 627. It's smoother, easier. You get this longer band. Uh, that makes for nice, easier tuning. And again, reception's the same quality. Um, and I'm happy with the, how this is set up. Don't need a solar panel, which is good. They're smart about that. Um, and I like the idea that I can run on normal batteries. Um, but again, the Skato V5 is nice for 15 bucks. If this is 20 and this is 15, again, this is the buy. So it's just me personally, even though I like the all yellow cabinet. <laughs> all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give a big like if you did. Two, if you want to see more Kato radios reviewed in this channel, uh, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon and get notified of any deals or sales because I always like to post those to you guys so you get on get on ground floor. You know, when this one came out, uh, I posted right away before I made this video to make sure people got the deal for 15 bucks. And of course, three, comment below if you're one of those people that bought one for 15 bucks. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, take care. and We'll see you in my next video.